Good evening and welcome. Prime Minister Raila Odinga now claims the resurgence of pre-election terror gangs in perceived ODM strongholds are financed by his political rivals. The PM claims his opponents are scheming to disenfranchise the party's supporters through violence and intimidation. Now, Raila uh, becomes the highest ranking state officer to claim foul play directed at his constituencies. Yet, in conjunction with President Mwai Kibaki, they are the custodians of security operators. Sam Ogina begins our bulletin with that report. The PM is now reading politics in the reemergence of pre election criminal gangs across the country. Raila says the resurgence of terror elements is deliberate financed by rival groups to disenfranchise ODM support base. We suspect that there is some deliberate um, plans to try to destabilize areas where the ODM is strong. And this, of course, is something that we don't want to tolerate. Raila's remarks come hot on the heels of an ODM meeting violently disrupted in Kilifi that resulted to the deaths of four people. The PM is putting security apparatus to task to nip the raising political insurgency in the bud. And we want the security forces to act with the decision, with the resoluteness, in order to deal with the, this um, emerging trend of lawlessness uh, in, in the country. Already Justice Minister Eugene Omalwa and Internal Security Minister Kato Olemitito are talking tough on any sect or individual culpable of funding flames of violence. Any of the politicians sponsoring those guns, that will be basis enough for them to be locked out of this electoral process. In Kisumu, since the outlawing of the dreaded Baghdad boys, the cropping up of two criminal gangs caught authorities in the region napping. Just after the by-election campaigns, two groups China Squad and American Marine linked to leading political parties engaged each other in violent displays weeks ago in total disregard of the rule of law. Upon the registration of uh, the TNA political party, this other group now that was a splinter group found itself in a, another political party that they could air their concerns. Likewise, in November 2011, Party of Action presidential aspirant Rafael Tuju's convoy was attacked trying to make forays into Odinga's Nyanza tough. We want to ensure that uh, there's no fear that is instilled in the hearts of the people of this country. But Raila is claiming innocence in the violence in ODM strongholds, claiming it is a campaign hinged on character assassination of the Orange Party and his presidential push. Samogina, KTN Prime.